Hey, what's going on, people? So, what you're looking at in this backwards camera is my new Ruger Security 9 unboxing video. Alright, uh, thanks to uh, one of my co workers, Andrew, who said that uh, I don't do enough unboxing, totally unboxing videos. I figured I'd do this one so you don't get to see my pretty face. And we're going to talk more about what's in this box. Okay, so, first off, camera focus in the box you get your owner's manual and as you can see this is brand new again I got this on a trade and really I bought this for my wife because uh, she likes the MMP 2.0 compact so much um, which is mine <laughs> so uh, I said you know what let me get her this and see how she likes this all right, these are actually kind of hard to come by these days right now because the price is so good on it. All right, you can basically pick these up for $300. They're probably a little bit overpriced at some places if you can find them, just for the fact that they're hard to find. All right, so again, let's go right into it and see what we got here. I'm going to move the box out of the way for a second, and this way we can just take this out. All right, so we got that out. And you can see we got this little Ruger rubber band on here. And the wristband, I guess you could say. One mag. And you got a barcode thing with jiggy on here. Let's get that off of there. Okay. Gun is empty. This is what it looks like. And I love the Ruger Phoenix. So the grips on this aren't that aggressive. But it fits good in the hand. It's got one dot in the front, and it's got that U Glock like looking shape on there on the back. All right. Okay, a quick look on that. It's empty. Let's put it to the side. Came one mag in it, and there's another 15 round mag in the box. So you get two 15 round mags. You get the stupid lock that comes with it. We'll leave that shoved in there. One is manual, and that's pretty much it. That comes with it. Now, one complaint, and this is not only with Ruger, but a lot of these uh, handgun manufacturers, you know, in regular long gun manufacturers, stop with the cheap boxes. Okay, you know, the cardboard box. Okay, the gun is a budget gun. You know, it's three hundred dollars. You know, for the uh, handgun. But what does it cost you for the plastic molded boxes that uh, come with it? You know, what, an extra eight bucks your cost? Just give the eight dollar box to, to the consumer. You know, nobody wants this cardboard crap box. So, you know, just a little shout out to the uh, manufacturers out there, including Ruger, who I love, and I love that they have some of the best warranty, the best warranty that's out there, and great customer service. Um, provide your customers, your, your consumers, you know, with a better box, you know, the plastic hard molded box. Like I said, it's got to be $8, you know, your cost, if not even cheaper, to make this. You know, I'll pay the extra $8 for the regular boxes that I have in this cardboard box. But enough about boxes. Let's get into this. Again, two mags. Let's get rid of the loaded chamber. It's empty. On the back, it's not ambidextrous. Okay. Let's see how the slide release on this works. Yeah, and this one's pretty stiff too. There you go. This has got to be broken in. Trigger. Probably about a five pound trigger. Let's see the reset. It's got a bit of travel. It kind of goes all the way out there to reset itself, but. Nice clean break, audible. Now this is a hammered fire. You know, most of the guns I've been showing you, they've all been striker fire. This is a hammered fire. All right, so it's got a hidden hammer that's inside there. I don't know if you can see. Now it just disappeared, okay. It's got your slide serrations in the front over here. It's great for your fresh checks. All right, nice looking gun. I think it's about 23 ounces, so it's pretty light. 
little bit of rattling in it, but that's the slide that's rattling. And actually, a lot of the handguns have that. Now, this is a little bit unusual, and this also, actually, I didn't tell you, has a manual safety on it. So, so I get this thing to work, and everything is brand new on it. Let's put that in there. Let's put an empty mag in there. Got hit in the right spot, so let's show you. Here is the manual safety. All right. Put it on here. Hit it in the right spot. My camera's just going in and out of focus, isn't it? Okay. So with the safety on, you can't rack the slide. You can't pull the trigger. Safety off. You can rack the slide. Now to break this one down, like I said, I get a little bit difficult. But not that bad. Alright. Um, let's see if I can find. Let me grab a screwdriver here. Okay. So I got my little flathead screwdriver here. And you can pretty much use anything you want there. You just want to grab and pull that out. So you do got to pull back on it a little. There we go. The pin starts coming out. And the pin's out. That comes out. That's the only pain to button this thing. And the slide comes right off. Standard spring on it and barrel. I mean, for $300, you, you can't beat it. You, know, you just can't beat it. Okay. Now, it does look like, I don't know if these are metal, I think they're polymer. Or glass filled, as Google would call it. Long ramps, but I think they're polymer ramps that are on it. I don't think they're metal. But again, for the money, I can't argue. Alright, let's put this back on. Pull it out. I'm trying to do this so you can see me on the camera. And this is the first time I'm doing this, so... I guess it's got to go in a certain way. It's locked in, so it does have to go a certain way with the groove on the top. Let's pull it back. Now, one thing I need to show you when I had it down. See how this is beveled? Okay. Um, I think it's like a, it's all in bushing it. Okay. So, not one of my best videos because I haven't had really time to uh, play with this and try it out, but I want to clean it up. Um, oil it and bring it to the range and shoot it and then I'll uh, give you a recap video But I just wanted to get it out there. So again, this is on a budget All right, uh, 300 bucks For the money you just can't beat it. And I know everybody says for the money for the money They said the only gripe I would have Is the takedown on it, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Once you get used to it, I'm sure it's not a problem Good trigger Empty mag going in All right, so for you people, men, women out there on the budget, not a bad gun. And it's pretty much, as we hate to say the word, same size as the Glock 19. And I'm actually going to do a video later um, where I compare the sizes of the uh, MP 2.0 Compact, which we know is the same size as the Glock 19. I, don't, I just don't happen to have the Glock 19 because I'm not a Glock fanboy. Um, just my preference. I'm, you know, not a big uh, Glock person. You know, I don't like the way they shoot. But we'll get into all that later. Uh, for the money, great gun. Um, any questions or comments, please leave below, and I'll try to update you when I get back from the range. Other than that, have a great day. Talk to you soon.